Good evening, and <laughs> welcome once again to the last week of news for the 2010s. Let us kick it off with some anime announcements. Katakawa began streaming a promotional video this week for an anime adaptation of the Remake Our Life light novel series. Written by Nachi Kyo and illustrated by Ereto, the story follows an unsuccessful game creator who finds himself suddenly transported 10 years into the past. He gets the chance to relive his formative years in art school and spend time with creators he knows will become famous in the future. That's a neat idea, though things might not go quite as he expects. Katakawa began publishing the novels in 2017, and they ranked number six in the 2018 This Light Novel is Amazing guidebook. I need a copy of that. And number seven in 2019. There's one every year. So. Yay. Um, a website opened on Wednesday to announce that the DMM Games Bungle to Alchemist game is getting an anime adaptation. The game launched for PC browsers in 2016 and on iOS and Android in 2017. In the story, the player becomes a special librarian and works with teams of famous literary authors to protect tainted literature. With what? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, exactly. The <laughs> upcoming anime adaptation entitled Bungo to Alchemist Shinpan no Haguruma, not Shimapan, or Literary Greats and Alchemists The Gears of Judgment, <laughs> okay, is planned for an April premiere. Toshinori Watanabe will be directing the anime at Studio OLM. Katakawa's sneaker Bunko publishing imprint revealed this week that the Hige Osoru Soshite Jose Joshi Kosei Ohiro light novels, easy to pronounce, are getting an anime adaptation. The romantic comedy storyline follows a 26-year-old IT employee, Yoshida, who ends up taking in a runaway high school girl. That always ends well. Yes. The novels began serializing online in 2017 and received a manga adaptation in 2018. Cool. Romantic comedy. Hey. Salary worker and high school girl. Hey. No, no Great. Problem. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> three new anime series were also announced at this weekend's Jump Festa event for Shonen Jump. Um, first up, Ryosuke Takeuchi and Hikaru Miyoshi's Moriarty the Patriot manga is getting a TV anime adaptation. The story centers on Sherlock Holmes villain James Moriarty, reimagining his history as a young man aiming to combat the flaws of England's strict class system. Because wow. that's definitely, you know, that definitely works with the whole original storyline. The manga debuted in Shueisha's Jump HQ in 2016 and has also inspired two stage musicals and a novel that. adaptation. Hey, legit. Um, next from Shueisha, the Dragon Quest Adventure of Dai manga is getting both an anime and game adaptation. Toys producing the anime, which will be a hybrid 2D CG animation, and it'll air in fall of 2020. The announcement did not specify a format for the video game, but noted that it will be produced by longtime Dragon Quest game producer Ryotaro Ichimura. Uh, in the story, main character Dai is the only human living on an island filled with peaceful monsters. He grew up dreaming of being a hero and gets the chance to fulfill his hopes when he decides to kill all the monsters. No, when the demon Lord Hadlar rises again to threaten the world. The original manga ran in Weekly Shonen Jump, that's Jump Festa, uh, from 1989 to 1996. So this is an older one. Um, and inspired the previous anime adaptation and three short films in 1991 and 1992. So kind of old school coming back around again. Um, last of the announcements from the Jump Festa event is an upcoming anime adaptation for Sho Aimoto's manga Kimono Jihen, or Monster Incidents. It began publication in Jump SQ in 2016. As described by ANN, quote, The manga starts in a quiet rural village, where a strange incident occurs, where many domestic animals die unnatural deaths. To resolve the incident, an odd-looking man from Tokyo, who goes by the name of Inugami, comes to the town to investigate. In the town, he meets a young boy who has a mysterious air about him, end quote. In other words, stuff happens. Um, moving on, uh, anime director Sunao Katabuchi, known for the Black Lagoon series and the critically acclaimed film In This Corner of the World, among others, uh, announced this week that he's established a new anime company. 
created to produce a full-length animated film, Katabuchi said he named the company Contrail, <laughs> with the desire to make an animated work that will be loved by many people forever. <laughs> um, Mappa's Manabu Otsuka is Contrail's representative director, with Katabuchi serving as a board member. The new company has opened both a website and a Twitter account, and will begin accepting... <laughs> sorry. Um, gotta have Twitter. And will begin accepting applications for animation and production staff starting in early January. You need a Twitter before you have your animation staff for your anime company. Yep. That's true. Yep. <laughs> Twitter comes first. Uh, wow. Your resumes together. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Um, Kodansha held their inaugural Noda Publishing Culture Award ceremony this Tuesday. Makoto Shinkai received a prize for his contributions to the publishing world. His novelization of Weathering With You topped the Oricon charts among books of its size as did his novelization of Your Name three years ago. Manga publishers Ribbon and Nakayoshi, which are both celebrating their 65th anniversaries, also received awards, along with acclaimed novelist Keigo Higashino and two Nogizaka 46 idols and magazine models. When Shinkai was asked about what impacted him this year in the publishing world, he noted his realization that it is novels that bring many young people to theaters in Japan. Huh. Quote, There were many kids from elementary school to their teens telling me that they chose to write about my novelizations for their book report, or they came to know about the film through the book. I'm normally quite distant from, quite distant from the world of publishing, but I was surprised and then moved when I discovered that children are reading my books and getting introduced to the movies that way. End quote. He concluded by saying that he'll continue to work hard to make works that can reach a lot of people. No joke, Shinkai. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see here. Um, uh, finally, fun news sto- uh, a couple of fun news stories. Um, there will be an Attack on Titan um, celebratory mural in New York City um, that I assume will look kind of like this. Yep, that's there is. Um, it's in celebration of the manga having passed 100 million copies published. Holy crap! So, yeah. and um, 100 million. So, Kodansha sponsored that thing to be put up in Madison Square Garden in wow. New York City. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, if you ever doubted that Attack on Titan has impact, <laughs> yeah. that uh-huh. is on the wall in NYC. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because who wouldn't want to see that? <laughs> yeah. Right? Come on. Um, and then finally, this is just wonderful. Um, this is just hilarious. This, this um, doesn't quite count as a news story, but I thought everyone needed to see this at some point in their life. Exactly. So, so what is this? Uh, it is um, a parody dating sim video. So you can look this up and watch this if you want to. Mm-hmm. Uh, voiced of what a dating sim would be like if the characters were Toyota cars. Not, not anime versions of... Toyota cars, but just the cars themselves. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, the the video has some sample dialogue back and forth with the various car love interests, and mm-hmm. as they go through their stereotypical dating sim lines, you'll have the headlights flash as a blush, or you know, whatever. <laughs> so. I say we petition is, uh, Toyota to make this. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I hey, need go to watch it, make it popular, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe we'll get the hatful boyfriend of Toyota. Right. Yeah. Totally. You know. <laughs> We got the, the KFC dating sim thing, yeah. right? We did. So, you know, KFC why not? KFC dating sim. Wendy says a whole flush out role playing game. Yeah. Day I, cars is not that far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Asians yeah. have a dating sim. Hey. You know, totally. So, uh, yes, that is the news for the week, the month, the year, and the decade. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you all. News of the 2020. Exactly. Uh, all right. See you next week. Bye, all.